you know, resulted in all this cleanup. Already, some of us, we spoke against the domestic uh, exchange program. And I even said it was going to lead to a banking crisis. People called me I mean, pessimist or whatever at that point in time. But fast forward, that is exactly what we are seeing now. We are heading into a banking crisis. Believe it or not, we are heading into a banking crisis. We are heading into a banking crisis. Of course, yes. Ghana Commercial Bank, since 1993, they haven't posted losses. Since 1993, you could go and check their records. And 2022, they are reporting a loss of 50 billion and above dollars, not even Ghana City. So that tells you that, Ben, let me say that we unfortunately, right, we have a situation whereby these industry players are not comfortably speaking out. We all know the sort of country we are, realistically. Politics has come to play so much role that if you speak out, you're either NDC or MPP. So a lot of the industry players that people have been speaking are silent, but they are currently suffering this particular problem I'm talking about. You understand? Mm. If government is not able to help by July, right, gradually we'll get into a situation whereby some of the banks will start closing down branches. And we will give particular reasons for that. They may not end up collapsing entirely, but gradually it will hit them. Because a lot of them had their investment in these bonds. So let's say a bank had investment that they were supposed to be earning 90% interest. All of a sudden, with the restructuring, government is giving them around 8.8 percent uh, uh, thereabouts. So definitely, they are taking huge losses. And believe me, even with the international reportage, what happened in Ghana is even affecting the Nigerian economy because a lot of the Nigerian banks in Ghana are also taking losses, like the UBA, the Zilli Bank, and all that. So it's not only that Ghana caused the problem for Ghana itself, but our neighboring Nigeria also is suffering the domestic exchange program that Ghana did. Let's, let's look at, so looking at this breakdown, first of all, you say another banking crisis is looming. How, how, how long do you think it will take before this bites? Looking at the 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 returns or the results uh, that these banks have been posting we know they have posted losses but for each or should we say to each his own looking at the dynamics exactly. uh, how 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 soon if things are not dealt with how soon could we see this you mentioned that by july if government is not able to do something uh, to intervene in a way we could be in dire streets so how soon do you think this could happen? I would say as soon as possible. Believe me, because if you speak with industry players... They will You're saying we're in the midst of a crisis, that the, the crisis could are, happen at any time. Of, of course, we are in the midst of crisis, but the government is suppressing the crisis. And then with every crisis, no matter how you suppress it, it will get to a point you cannot suppress it any longer. It's just the same way government was telling that we are not going to IMF, we are not going to IMF, we won't go to IMF. Because government was trying to suppress the crisis. But it got to a point that the crisis can no longer be contained. So government had to finally go to IMF. That is the same thing happening within the banking crisis, I mean the banking sector. If government is not able to get that 1.5 billion stability fund set up by the July deadline that is, I mean, the, not the deadline, but the July that is saying, we should expect that some of these brands will start collapsing. They will start laying their workers off because they wouldn't be able to keep paying the salary of these workers without getting the investment that they did in those bonds. You understand? So the financial stability fund is a way of cushioning the bank. Okay, whatever losses that you had made, probably even if you cannot recover all of it back, but at least you can get some back. So, for example, maybe GCB is losing about $50 billion, even if they can't get it back, but at least the government is able to come in through the fund and they pull it even as as $40 billion, it will go back into working capital. So if there's nothing for them to rely on, what do you expect to happen? When, even in the economy, there is no money for depositors to put to the bank, are you following the situation we're facing right now? Because people are not putting money into the banks right now. Banks are calling customers to even come and deposit money. 
So it's basically telling you that there's nothing in their coffers to operate with. How will they keep up paying salary? Hmm. Then let's, as Ghanaians, look at it as you know a collective problem, and not just oh maybe the banks are this, the banks are that. It is not like that. If some of them comes to speak out right now, politicians will descend on them. So they are quiet. But the industry is really taking a big hit right now. 